I, I put this proverb here, but uh, and I'm sure all of you have heard it before, but where there's a will, there's a way. And I bring that up with um, controlled substances because unfortunately there are, you know, people that have um, addictions um, and uh, regardless of uh, sometimes the processes and the measures put in place by a department or a hospital or whatever it might be, you know, those people are going to go, you know, to any length, um, unfortunately, uh, to acquire those uh, controlled substances. And so I, I only mention that because when we talk about internally your processes and what can you do to improve your tracking of controlled substances, particularly if you're on paper or spreadsheets today, um, there's another old saying, uh, it's referred to as the Pareto principle or a lot of folks know it as the 80-20 rule. But basically what it says is, 20% of uh, the first 20% of the effort you put into something actually produces 80% of the results. And I think it's particularly important um, when you're talking about controlled substance tracking. Obviously, within your organization, there's limited resources, right? There's limited time, there's limited uh, money, there's limited people, um, there's limited processes sometimes. And so you can only... Um, uh, based on those resources, you can only do so much, right? And so with PS Tracks, our goal, uh, especially if you're on paper right now, is to take you from zero to 80% as quick as we can um, with an electronic system. And so that's what I'd say most of our departments find is it's kind of a quick win, right? You're moving from those paper spreadsheets, converting that to an electronic system. And I'll talk more about that.